Hello, hello, hello. What up? What up? What up? What up? Oh my yeah. goodness! This I feel thing, like we ain't been here in a minute. This, no. you know what? I don't know what I'm gonna do while I'm out. I'm gonna just be at home watching y'all missing the studio. <laughs> but welcome to Busy Would Be. I got boots. There you go. There you go. I, oh, there you yeah, go. Welcome <laughs> to Busy Would Be. There it is. I got boots in the studio. Ursula. Hey, we are ready to start the show. We're not going to waste a lot of time. Of course, we miss you guys. Absolutely. What you been up to, Boots? Thankfully, I've been working. Okay. Been working and receiving okay. a paycheck. Okay. Even though I am a federal government contractor. Okay. Um, and continue prayers and blessings to all those that were affected by the by the mm-hmm. shutdown. But I, unfortunately, I... Fortunately for me and my family, we I was still working. I was still earning a paycheck, so just working and um and um you know being a dad and being a husband and being a good friend to to my friends. Hopefully, mm-hmm. um, my son had they, their football season. Um, they had like a banquet for the team or whatever okay. that was really nice and had a couple new kids come out that want to play next year. So that was a good thing. Um, my daughter went back to college yesterday. Um, shout out to her. She's that's doing really, really well. About. That's what I'm talking um, about. And that's about it. That's and about the, it. Shoveling snow. Oh, when okay. that white stuff get all over the ground. That's what I'm doing talking that. about. <laughs> you know what I mean? What did y'all? Well, I know you. And did you shovel some snow? I did not. No, no, I, I didn't won't do that. Why? Why not? I thought women can do anything. No, we, we can. We, we, not not but that. But as long as I have someone to call, I'm not sure. Myself. So you call somebody to risk their life to come all the way to you and shovel snow? I don't look at it like that. I call them to take me to work as well. I don't drive in the snow. Who is this person? <laughs> Let's no, get we into not, that. No, we're not getting <laughs> into that. Let's look at you. It's nobody to talk about. That's what I'm talking it's about. It's true friendship. That's you know? what I'm talking hey. about. Nobody yeah. to talk no, about. No, nobody, you know, worth talking about. Sound like a With, flunky to me. No. <laughs> nah. What you been He's up to? He's a friend. We can have true friends to okay. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. So what have you been up to? To change the subject. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep it on the subject. We got a pack bill shut. How you been doing? I've been good. 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 Just chilling, just enjoying my me time. Well, both of you ladies are looking yeah. rather beautiful today thank with you. your yellows yes. and your peaches oh, on. You. I just got you. on a white tee, but a shout out to um, Handsome um, University. Hampton, rock, handsome University. That, uh, yes, busy with that's a nice shirt. Drink. You know that's what I mean? So that's how I'm going today. He going to be in the studio. He should be here momentarily. I hope we don't run into his time. We do have two guests today. Two amazing guests, yes. actually. Absolutely. From absolutely. two different ends of the spectrum of the entrepreneurship and with everything going on in with the government. We want to talk about it. We want to get into it. I truly believe we're in a season of entrepreneurship. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Especially with everything going on, definitely. Is anybody going to ask me how, what I've been up to? So what have you I been know up what you've been up to. I feel like I talk to you. Okay. Me too. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> but you can tell them what, what you I could be laying in the bed my phone rang. I'd be like, I know that's I no. know that's B. I, I know, know that's B. But yeah. tell us about so, Baby Bella. Yeah, What's so up? first of all, I'm thinking because I'm pregnant, everybody pregnant. Mm-hmm. Okay? So my Lord mind is always on the show. I think they don't have no life because I'm at home <laughs> working on the show working on things and things of that nature but of course i'm nesting i'm getting ready for baby bella the mm-hmm. website is dropping guys i'm so excited mm-hmm. it's so mm-hmm. pretty i want you guys to be a part of the website if you are an entrepreneur or a musician i'm looking for music all that good stuff send me your email dm me dm me your email addresses if you've been a past guest to the show you have already heard from me i already have some links up there mm-hmm. I'm so excited about all that good stuff. Busy with B is definitely growing. Um, the brand and um, the mission of the show and what we're all doing here and your vision um, is definitely growing. I'm I'm just happy that I could be a part of Absolutely. it and, and, and watch this thing come to fruition. So um, like she said, um, please um, contact her. Contact any of us if yeah. you are an entrepreneur, you're a community leader, you're an artist. If you're doing anything positive out here in society and in our community, please let us know. We would love to showcase you. Um, If you have a business and you want to advertise and you want to do your marketing thing, let us know. We could work something out Mm -hmm. and sit down and and put our business hats on and and we'll we'll market you and market your product and market um, what you have going on. 
wow on the busy would be um show on the listen vision um studio so yeah um it's a lot of exciting things coming down the pipe so in many things coming down the pipe um i am and i will start um streaming shows because i am getting contacted by so many people mm -hmm. um to come on to the show one hour is just not long enough so if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, do this it. is the time to do it. Do it now. Um, I have some great shows coming up. Um, mm -hmm. Just on Busy Will Be YouTube, I need you guys to go to my Instagram page and subscribe. Hit that link and subscribe. That link will only be up there for a while because my website is dropping. So <laughs> me and Ursula That's is going to be doing some... Some great things on that YouTube channel, especially women. What's gonna be doing? What's your, what, Boost, we not gonna leave you out. Okay, you gonna be there, you know, <laughs> some of the times. Oh my god! Right. <laughs> All right. We gonna be having some me. intimate women. Yeah, we got some. We got some intimate women. Come. Oh, I need some, to be there for that. Oh no. <laughs> we got some I things need to be there for that. up our sleeve, and it's just you know just to get outside of that box. We gonna we gonna have fun. So. Sound like a plan to me. Okay. And if I ain't invited, I'm going to crash anyway. So you already know how I'm going to do. You always invited. <laughs> you already know how I'm going to do. Isn't that what you say? He, Boots is always Boots invited. Always. With everything. Yeah, that's our always. security. That's, that's our main yeah. Right, right. I'm All that. All that. All that. Um, so did you want to bring up um, the young lady that we have first you know coming what? up? You know what? I really, that was not part of the plan. They don't got to know that. Okay. They don't got to know so, that. Go ahead and Ursula. I found her. Ursula told me all about her. Um, Ursula gonna be like me when I'm gone. She's gonna be behind the scenes. She's gonna be contacting people. She's gonna call I me am. only when only when I need to step in. But I'm trusting that she got everything under control. Absolutely. She good money. She good money. Absolutely. Okay, so Ursula, we are gonna introduce okay. Latasha. All right. Okay. So, guys, um, before Latasha come on, I don't know if we need to take a quick break so she can get set up. I think so. Okay. But there's no one. I will hope that everyone leaves this podcast today reaching out to her because this is the season of entrepreneurship. And she has two great companies. I know one, her newest venture. I'm going to be all on top of that. But, however, this is an amazing story from an amazing woman that's coming up next. So stay tuned. Hey, Okay. 
Get the crown, my nigga. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. And we are back. And we are back. We have Latasha here in the studio. She's going to just start with telling us some things about herself. Um, I know some things about you, but let's just start from the beginning. Um, I do know you was a, a government worker who quit, you know, who was able to walk away from her job mm-hmm. and do this entrepreneur thing mm-hmm. full term. Mm-hmm. Tell us about yourself. Where you, where you start from? What were some of your inspirations? And how did you? That's courage. That's faith. How did you? How did you do that? It it really is. It it does take a lot of faith and belief in yourself. Um, to know that you could be your own boss. Um, so just to correct something, I was not a government worker. Okay. I was a private sector okay. um, for 10 years, personal assistant to a managing partner of an international tax firm for about eight years. Okay. Um, and unfortunately, he decided to sell his office to the biggest accounting firm in the country. And I wasn't a part of that acquisition. So the loyalty wasn't there. And a lot of people feel like, you know, you've given yourself years and years um, of dedication and work. You would think in a a situation like that, um, you would have first dibs into, you know, being not left out on the street, so to speak. So when that happened to me, um, I was already um, pursuing entrepreneurship on a part-time basis. Okay. Um, and most people pursue entrepreneurship part-time but still want to keep the security of that two-week chat. Yeah. Amen. Yes, yes. You know, so many people are afraid to jump over the ledge, you know, even though they know they may have all the talents and skills to be able to um, pursue what they want to do. But that security of that check will always keep you there. Mm-hmm. And I would like to say... If that wouldn't have happened to me, I would probably still be at that job mm-hmm. working part time, you know, just trying to create additional streams of income. The Lord right. working mysterious ways. Man, listen, mm-hmm. you know, it really took something um, for me to be so fearful of to me for me to be able to jump and believe in myself. Yeah, mm-hmm. but so like it's some sometimes when you can't take that step, you know, God will just help you, you know, give yeah. you a push. Mm-hmm. And it, at times you I mean he rattles you up, you're no longer comfortable. So it was all it was you were ready, basically. He had been preparing you already mm-hmm. and you were ready. So he, you know, ah, of course we don't want it to happen that way. No. You know. No. But uh so, so what is it? Tell us I'm still waiting on the, to hear what it is the these entrepreneurial uh, endeavors are. So I started out in mm-hmm. the credit repair franchise. Okay. Um, and it, it came all about me actually needing the services myself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, just tired of getting denied for things, um, wanting to move out of this apartment that I've been in for years and could not. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had to address it in some way. So when I was told about um, credit repair, which I was very ignorant to Mm -hmm. um, years ago, um, I was told, hey, you can do it two different ways. You can come in and be a client, or you can actually kind of have your own little franchise, still be a client, and help other people along the way. Okay. So I figured the second would make better sense because I wasn't the only one in my family dealing with, you know, credit denials and wanting more okay. um, out of their situation. So I just figured, why not start with my family? Okay. Someone closest to me, people that I know will trust and, and support me. So that's kind of where it all started. Okay. You know, okay. just me needing the services and really just being the helper that I am of just trying to help, um, you know, people that are near and dear to me. I thought I was the only one. Use my family up. Oh, girl, you got to get this sweat. <laughs> right. You got to yes. do that. Yes, yes. All about family. So, Tasha, tell us how is the company doing now? First of all, it's very, it's, it's very successful. You are, we're at six figures, right, mm. the company. Yes. And now oh. you have. Okay. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. And I wanted to make sure that my baby, which is credit repair, was mm-hmm. secure in me for um, to step out and start another business because it really does take um, a lot of dedication and commitment to stay focused um, and being a full time entrepreneur. So um, just working this business part time made me 
you generate about 32, 38,000 part time coupled with my full time. So when I was ready, or when God was ready for me to say, listen, it's time for you to jump out on your own. That's when I started to be more structured. You know, and I started to think about how my boss treated me. Mm-hmm. You know, you had a certain time for lunch. Mm-hmm. You reported every day from nine to five. Mm-hmm. So I put myself on my own schedule um, and really treated it like a job. You right. have to. You, you it, really- it, people think a lot of times when you're an entrepreneur, it's easier. No, it's, it's, it's more work. It's, it's but it's, it's work that you enjoy, right? It's like you can do it all night. You can do it all day. I mean. It's worth it. I mean, you can take breaks when you want. But trust me, entrepreneurs put in way more work than someone that works a nine to five. You know, we work night, day. You know, I, I just don't have a set schedule, even though I I can come and please, um, come and go as I please. But you still have to be structured mm-hmm. in order for any business to work. So, um it's just been a blessing, man, that I got fired from my job because mm-hmm. if I didn't, mm-hmm. I wouldn't be able to, you know, say that I earned six figures from home, even more than I was making on my full time job. Right. Oh, awesome. So it, it really has been a, a true blessing to kind of he- still have a platform that I can help strangers, yeah. you know, be a part of people that I don't even know testimonies and them trust me um, that I will help them to reach their goals. Cause strangers, I will tell you are your best friends in business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm learning that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm learning that. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. So, um, again, Lit- Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you were stuck. You know, I was going to help. Well, come on. Help me out, girl. <laughs> I'm on your show. Busy with B, baby. <laughs> what would be something... Um, what would be um, something that you would tell someone that is in a situation with credit? I think a lot of times, um, I mean, I know having good credit for me, I almost feel like rich. Like I just got money. You know, you still need to be a little structured. But what are some of the steps that can be taken to, you know, be on that way, be on that path? Well, first of all, you can't be afraid to know where you stay in. You know, so many people I talk to and I say, well, do you know what your credit score is? And they say, you know what? I'm afraid to look. I don't even want to know. I just know it's bad. But in order for you to capture to what your situation is, you have to know where you stand. So the first step is checking your credit. You know, there are so many free platforms that give you an opportunity to see where you stand, what's your score, what's actually listed on your reports. And then that's the first step of really going all the way to the top with it. Um, And then, of course, a consultation to guide you on how long you may need the service based on the types of things you have on your credit, how the actual service works, um, and explaining to people that it is a process. Hmm. You know, people think credit repair is something that really will work overnight. Microwave, baby. You know, and a lot of people have that microwave result type of uh, thought uh, process, but it really does work if you have patience. And that's what a lot of people don't have is patience. Um, But if you just stick with it three to six months, you know, you definitely will be in a a better place. Mm -hmm. Um, It took me nine months you know, to remove the majority of the things from my credit. And it was an investment that I just thank God for. Okay. Mm-hmm. So how, if someone, actually there's two opportunities with you. They can become a customer and get that credit on point. Yeah. Or they can join your team mm-hmm. and become an entrepreneur. How would they do that? So, again, it's all about who you hang around to believe in yourself. Because a lot of people are just so prone to just getting up, going to work, you know, nine to five and don't really think about an additional stream. But if you think about it, when it comes to credit repair, and this is what I tell every client, this is not selling. You know, every American, regardless of your race, culture, ethnicity, you have a social security number. Mm -hmm. And that is attached to things that you're definitely going to need as you start to mature and grow mm-hmm. up. You you need real estate. You you need to apartments. You Car. need utilities. You know, you need cell phones. All of these things are attached to our credit score. Even yeah. even yeah. jobs in general. Jobs in general, yeah. yeah. Jobs in general are taking you to a whole nother level where you can have college degrees and all this experience. And when they pull your credit, you now disqualify based on that score. So it's just about education and and really just making sure you 
stick close with our team. Um, we are very close knit. We are considered a family and we have teams all across the country that I travel to, to support, you know, based on me having the freedom to get up and go as I please and, you know, make sure people are on the right path to whatever their goal or their why is. And when it comes to business and where can, where can you be found as far as, um, on the, now, where can they find you? Well, I'm on Instagram. That's my that's my favorite place to find me. Um, I find that strangers, again, are your biggest supporters. And Instagram really just connects you with people all across the world. So my Instagram name is Credit is Power. Um, Facebook, Credit is Power. Um, Facebook, business page, Credit is Power. Personal page, Latasha Ladybug. And, of course... When you see me out and about, you know, I'm normal. I, I like to hang out. I like to go to Jasper's. I like to have a good cocktail. And, you know, people actually do see me say, hey, aren't you that credit lady? Mm-hmm. And it just brings up general conversation to let them know, oh, you know, this person is real. Because they have to know that you're authentic. People don't buy what you're selling. Hello. They buy you. Hello. So. Let me just say, she always had this personality from school. Mm. Like, That's important. Thank you, Ursula. I got a question for you. So um, I know quite a few people that do credit restoration and things of that nature. We've actually had some on the show, too. So, yeah. So at this point, do you feel like the market is a bit saturated? Absolutely not. Okay. So a person can, a new person can come in and want to actually join the team or, or, or come into that business and actually prosper. Yeah. I mean, again, patience. Yeah. You have to build up social proof, mm-hmm. you know, and you have to show a person or your audience that you're consistent, mm-hmm. that you're dedicated because some people come in and they hear one no and they just give up. Mm-hmm. It, it's something that is just not going to happen overnight with the process or success in any business. Because with anything you do, you have to put in that work, you, put in that time. You definitely have to put in that work. And again, it's 63 million people nationwide that have a 599 credit score or lower. So there will be no saturation or competition with anyone. You just have to be confident that you're going to reach those people and just be consistent with it. It really is all about your team, too, and who you're plugged into. Because that's actually how, you know, I figured, okay, I'll take on full-time entrepreneurship just based on the conversations that I had with people that I were plugged into that were business owners. Mm -hmm. You know, they they gave me the pros and the cons of, you know, a nine-to-five versus having your own thing going on. So it is all about the people that you surround yourself with at the end of the Mm -hmm. day to just keep you um, motivated. That's very important. Keep me attaching myself to a car salesman to give me my cards. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I absolutely. That's awesome. So tell us about the ride share. Yes. Ride share. I'm so intrigued by this new company. Yes, you guys. I am just super excited about this one. Um, you know, I've been doing credit repair now for it'll be five years in July, and I've been consistent with it up until this point. Um, when this was introduced to me about eight months ago, um. Everybody knows Uber and Lyft. You know, Mm -hmm. 99% of people have either taken an Uber or drives for Uber currently. And there's a new ride share company that's coming out called Trip. And it definitely will disrupt um, the ride share industry where drivers are now going to be able to keep 100% of their fare. 100%? 100% of their fare plus tips um, with our company. And the only thing. How? How? So in order to have exclusivity with our with our platform, drivers do pay $199 a month to keep 100% of their fares plus tips. Um, if you talk to any Uber driver, which I used to actually drive for Me Uber too. and Lyft. Me too. You know, most people, you I know, are secret bit. Uber and Lyft drivers. You would never know. I but did. I'm telling you, if you actually have a conversation with your client, and this is when I knew that, this is some shady stuff going on. Um, she actually asked me, excuse me, how much? Is it surging right now? And I said, I don't think so. She said, well, yeah, I just got charged $48 for this ride. And it wasn't that far. Right. So I said, really? Let me see how much they paid me. Mm-hmm. 
When I checked that, they only paid me about $13 from that fare. Wow. So at, when I would take kind of long distance rides, I would ask a customer, Excuse, do you mind telling me what they charged you? And every single time, it was anywhere from 20 to 30% that they took out of each fare. Hmm. They don't show you that when they pay you, Mm-mm. but if you want, if you never ask that, you'll never know. Right. So it, it definitely is something that a, a driver can recoup $200 in a day. Yeah. You know, if you drive consistently, whether it be part time or full time, you can make two hundred dollars in a day or two. So the rest of the month is all of your income. So it has been r- really, really um, absorbing for me to express and share what trip is all about. And the driver says, oh, yeah, sign me up yeah, because they understand the fees that this company is taking out yeah. and. They're a hundred and fifty eight billion dollar industry hmm. and they want to pay the drivers ten dollars an hour. And th- that's so unfair. So Trip is definitely coming to disrupt. I'm so glad that, you know, I'm, I'm kind of at the top with corporate before it actually came out. Um, it's not live just yet, but trust me, it is on its way. And positioning time, and if you don't know about business, is very important. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm just so excited to be at the top and just help um, just as much as people as I can as I did in credit repair and now a new industry, which is ride share. Okay. So That's would awesome. you be having your hands in both? Are you walking away from credit repair? or Absolutely not. Okay. Credit repair is my passion. Baby. Yeah, yeah, that <laughs> I'm never going to uh, let that go. I mean, I'm in the process of maybe looking for an assistant mm-hmm. to help me with my social media, keep up with my messages and things like that yes please <laughs> she needs some assistance <laughs> with oh keeping up with her messages i do i do you guys so if anyone's watching and you know maybe wants to earn some part-time income for just doing some admin work um hit me up credit is power you know i would love to just sit down and chat with you and teach you a little bit about credit maybe i can get you some free credit mm-hmm. services included mm-hmm. in that so um okay out. Yeah. Okay, I'll be your assistant. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, my, no, they, they are. They are so close. Yes, yes. I'm so excited to be here, you guys. Look, when I'm invited on shows like this, I, it just really humbles me that somebody's paying attention. And um, I just really, my goal is just to help people. If you keep your eyes on helping people, the money's going to come by default. So, um just think about that. Any business owners, you know, just don't think about greed or the money that your business will bring. If you help as many people as you can take away of it, take away their bills, yours will get taken away by default for sure. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So I really do appreciate you uh, coming through the yes. show. I was so thank excited you, to you. have you. Thank I mean, well, you. again, I knew nothing about you. Ursula was so excited. And I was like, let me check her out. So I start going through everything, but I want Ursula to take charge and know that she can. I trust her to find the guests because I just yes. want to focus on baby Bella. And uh, <laughs> and I just want you to know that I trust you. I trust Boots. You guys are going to take care of my baby. And yes, and I'm going to I'm going to be Skyping. You know, you guys are going to get the peek at Bella and um subscribe to my youtube it's very important i'm trying to get a, at least a thousand uh followers on youtube so that i can have my own little mm-hmm. uh you know situation your crew, your crew. yeah so mm-hmm. um and i'm going to be doing exclusive shows on that on that youtube channel so don't be surprised latasha if i'm asking you to come by and grace me on my youtube channel listen okay. any support for black businesses i'm all for it okay. i'm all up. for yeah. it Man, Ursula, we're gonna, we gonna have fun boost can come sometimes but <laughs> that's gonna be our little home our little home base uh-huh girl power yes uh, yes i bring out the other side of her she know we a little you know we're the same person i love it yes. oh lord I yes. love it. Yes. I love it. I'm, I'm scared of that. So, <laughs> it's live. You could be a closet or you could be, you know, hey. There you yeah. go. We're going to save all of that good stuff. Right. <laughs> you know, this is a community show. <laughs> That's a community. So, okay, it, it ain't, look, it ain't no community without that. <laughs> <laughs> so, we do have another guest in the studio. Um, yes. And he, he's here. He has arrived. And um, so we're going to close out this segment. And um, that's boots. What you been wearing? Pants. 
I am wearing the Handsome University okay. t-shirt, just like I had the last show we were on. Um, so we're going to be bringing up the um, owner and proprietor of that yeah, um, business yeah. um, venture. Uh, so we, I guess we're going to take a quick break. So yeah, we're we going to take a up. break. Um, it's a great meaning behind what he do. It's a great... It, it's just... I'm inspired just by what his clothing stand for. You see, we threw Busy with B in there and all that good stuff, but he's going to break it all the way down. Again, Tasha, beautiful. Thank, thank you, you so for much. gracing yep. us in thank the you. studio. Thank this you so will not much. be the last time you are a friend to the show now. All right. So, uh, hopefully, you know, we can get you on that website and people can get your services through the website. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much. So, thank you. We'll be we'll right be back. back. Bye. on the rampage. You can run, but you know you can't hide. So suck the MC jock and step through that side and watch me flow and glow and show Cause I thought you do but I guess you don't know so Here we go back in the last jam DJ Cool is who I am If you got a stick, see ya later You need to be home, you can't spectator My mission is to make sure that your party People that got to get down with your body and rock to the beat that's pumping Hey yo, I got the whole house jumping to the sound that's making the majority to the busy with B so as y'all can see uh Miss B had uh take a little break um so this is actually 
Bella what they're going to see. Bella weighing on that um, right. bladder. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually what you're going to see um, once um, uh, Miss B takes a little break um, to have baby Bella. Mm -hmm. um, so I uh, thank y'all for coming back and tuning in. Absolutely. And now, as you can see, we have another amazing guest on the show. Uh, is your last name Welcome? <laughs> no. I don't know why she has that hair as this. Oh, no. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the people, man. Let them know your name. Uh, pretty handsome hustler. I know that's right. Yeah, early. But hold up, oh. ladies. Am I lucky? Look at these two men representing Handsome University. <laughs> I got two handsome men early. up here representing <laughs> Handsome University. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I'm a lucky thank guy. You, I should queen. be in the middle because y'all just look, yeah. I should be in the middle. Hey, listen, look, I'm, I'm tall enough. I see over everybody. Don't worry about it. Uh -huh, I'm go. just saying, y'all look go. so good. Y'all make me look good. I should be in the middle. <laughs> oh, <we're blessed>. oh. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on, man. And um, we, um, I know this is my second week rocking mm -hmm. some of your apparel and, you. and everything, all that good stuff. So, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so let us know about um, your your business and how you got started, how you came up with the name as well, and then we can kind of go from there. All right, uh, like I say, you know, a lot of people know me as um, handsome hustler. Some fellas feel some kind of way so they won't call me handsome they see hustler and i'm cool with it they just call me handsome my real name is damon damon gatlin from the bronx bronx new york okay. um i try to refrain from calling black men nigger and that's a real big thing of mine mm -hmm. so i ought to say handsome and honestly you know being from the bronx in harlem a lot of hustlers that's how we speak handsome cat daddy things like that mm -hmm. and it wasn't until like what 70s and 80s when we actually took the the term nigga and really started using it as a term of endearment mm -hmm. and, and then people just forget how negative a connotation that it is and then even now sometimes i may say handsome what's up and do they may feel offended but i had you know i guess some kind of uh not arguments but a little back and forth mm -hmm. about the situation that's all i say you know what some of y'all feel more offended from me asking you to not call me nigga than you asking me to not call you handsome Mm. But I'm just trying to big you up. Got right. At the end of the day, you know, and it's not even be racist or whatever, but America is going to call you all these derogatory terms, mm -hmm. and you take them and you turn them into a power and them and accept it. But I call you something positive. So a lot of mm. black men say, oh, I don't judge no man. Yes, you do. We call them ugly. I don't judge no <laughs> man. Come <laughs> yeah, on. You just call them. If I say you're handsome, they judge them and it's negative. Mm -hmm. But you just call, you say you ugly ass nigga. But you just broke that man down spiritually and physically Absolutely. based upon somebody else. That's and a, a good lot point. of times they say, Oh, I don't mean it with the, the ER. Yeah. I don't mean with the ER. I mean with the A. I said, Whoa, well, at the end of the day, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. saying, it so, is. Yeah, Absolutely. So, um, so, but the handsome, y'all doing a wonderful thing here, right? We are. All right. Are. Your hands equal to some of your work. <laughs> so you see how it's spelled H A N D mm -hmm. S U M. Mm -hmm. It has to come together at some point. You keep working, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got, you got handsome, handsome. That's actually my nickname I had for a long time. Okay. And some, so I don't have no tattoos. So my hats and my t-shirts was my tattoos. Oh, that's what's up. You know, so okay. my brother Rob, you know, he, he even said it one day. He's turning the clothing line. Funny thing is, two thousand and what, six or seven, I was mm -hmm. writing writing it out in my notebooks at home. Idea for clothing line, and then I went to a store one day. I had on a, I had a black Yankee hat on. Mm -hmm. Black snake skin Yankee hat, and I got silver and handsome written in it, and the dude went crazy. So from then I knew that it can kind of bubble and you know into something bigger than what it is. Okay. Absolutely. And how long have you been? Um, have you had your your line going on? This brand is about I think about nine years old. I, okay. I say as, as, as long as I'm about about nine years old. Pushing, um, pay get to paycheck the type brand. Yeah, but, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. This ain't, but you know, I'm okay with it. Yeah. You know, saying, you know, I'm okay. You know, my biggest support is my wife. You know, she mm -hmm. hold me down through thick and thin. And, and, and she, she, she reached out. I love that shout out. Yeah, I'm saying, no, she, she reached <laughs> out, y'all. You know, so that's why even with Handsome University. So Handsome University, right? So let's look at Handsome Closet. Okay. okay. Right? And associate of mine, he came with the name Handsome Closet. His name is Kesson Jones. Um, I said, okay, cool. I was, I was kind of against it here and there. I wasn't too sure. But the more I started doing it with it, I said, okay, I feel that I want to be... Remember the old college sweatshirts? You know, mm -hmm. Grandma mm -hmm. and Saint George. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. Let's take mean. that. Let's leave that there. Remember what school Bill Cosby went to? Cliff, Cliff, he Cliff Huxable went to? Mm -hmm. What school he went to? Hillman. He went to Hillman. Was it real? No. Okay, hold on. Let's continue. <laughs> Let's okay. play this out. Fubu. 
mm -hmm. all right, for us, by us, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have a little sprinkle of uh, 40 acres and the mules, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm nowhere near preachy, preachy. I'm nowhere near preachy, preachy. I'm not, I ain't got time for that. Okay. Because it's going to be so much fake stuff going on. People are trying to judge you. But if, if you say, listen, yeah, I, I go to mosque, I go to church, church, whatever, but I'm still me as a human. I have things to work on. We can accept you. Yeah. But don't come preachy, preachy like like you holding them now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with this brand, we're looking at trying to get everything together. So that's why, like this t-shirt right here, I think you're going to like this one, big brother. Be history, <laughs> make history, be history. I love it. In so all the so different yeah, really dialects. Right, you know what I'm saying? So, so we're looking at this, right? Mm -hmm. Us as people, especially black people, let, let's, this is us. We want to look at Malcolm and Martin, Kawaja Kajufu. We look at all, uh, uh, Sojourner True, everybody. We, we're harping on our history. Do you know your history? Do you know your history? We read in my history, and mm -hmm. we're allowing situations to make us great passes by because we're so, we so focused on what the past did. Instead of making history now and to become history, so someone I want somebody to read about me later. Right. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I love it. So how can they find your product? How can they purchase? We have, um, you know, a lot of times, like, we're getting a little bit bigger now, but a lot of times, okay. it was a lot of times, it was just like, make it on demand. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. you order something, I give it, because I didn't want to have the extra surplus, and, you know, we got kids in the house. Yeah. My, my three kids are crazy. <laughs> they be done spilled juice or uh, something all on it. <laughs> Is this something you brought that you could show everybody? Yeah. Okay, um, let's see so, what you got. All right, so check it out. Uh, this one right here is, oh, I think you're going to like this one, too. Okay. Oh, God. I, I love the fact that it has so much meaning behind it. Absolutely. Like, Let me say I this. Mean, that's that's the thing that I'm, it's I'm loving. Yeah. I think so, you're gonna like this deep. one. You red state people, you you supporters, that four or five supporters, <laughs> we got one for you. Yeah. Make Africa great again. Okay. I know that's right. All right. Okay. On the back is Africa. Mm -hmm. okay. Not for Africa right there. I definitely. I just love the meaning and what it stands for, and that was just like I wanted you on because we was wearing it. And I know, just talking to you, so can, you know, you can, yeah. like, I, I'm just pulled in. And I wanted the, the message to be conveyed in such a way that I knew I couldn't I do appreciate it like that. You, because you now, know? so now with Handsome University, when I started convert, because I'm, by, you know, my, my main thing is I'm a personal trainer. And I was trying to figure out how to not have to always cross brand and promote this and promote that. So Handsome University actually allows me to do all of that in one. Mm -hmm. When I want to be in my trainer mode or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's why y'all shirts is Hanson University um, audio visual team okay. because y'all do audio visual. Okay. Right. So you can kind of uh, make it for your client. Like right. You because it, 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 look, the greatest thing Barack Obama did was become president hmm. because Absolutely. he gave our children something to look up oh. forward to. Hope. Okay. So that's what Hillman College did. Hillman said, it's not a real school, but we wanted to go there. Yeah. Absolutely. It became cool to go to college. Absolutely. Why not? We and handsome, to and handsome, handsome is not about how you look. It's about your character. Yeah, no matter how good your man is. Get, what, ladies, hold on. Let me talk to y'all for a second. Hold talk on. Get, I got y'all. But you see this one right here? This right here, big fella, is 18 in the middle, president of the United States of America. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Different United roles on Streets it. of America. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no lady in here is going to allow a man to be in her presence to try to, to talk to her past a certain time. She's going to be like, okay, he's. You know, but honestly, we like something to look at. We're going to be honest. Mm -hmm. if they, listen, if you flirt with something, she got to be something to look at. We're going to mm -hmm. be straight up about this. Okay. Then after that, if y'all do get together, guess what? He got to be able to provide for you the same way you provided. He got to be a hustler. Am I right or wrong? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. All right. So I spell it. I spell it handsome a certain way. I spell hustler a certain way. Okay. Not conventional. But okay. after that, if he's handsome and he's taking care of his duties mm -hmm. and he's working, he becomes the king of the household. Absolutely. That's so now, way. so now you see that crown we got, right? Now you see the crown we got, right? It's everything in one. It's royalty. It's the little bit of vanity, and it's the hustle, it's the grind. I love it. And, say, and and that's how we have to look at him, saying, you know, so that, that's for everybody. Adrius Elba, this dude is a sex symbol. He don't look really better than me, but he's sexy. <laughs> but oh, someone said they want to purchase, so they sunk and rock it at Howard University. I know that's right. That's Thank you, Auntie, for the support. Yeah. <laughs> but again, you will be able to purchase through the website. He is yeah. sponsored by Busy with Be. So there we you go. Guys can yeah. Go right on to the website. That will be launching in a couple okay. of weeks. Yeah. All right. And um, I want you to definitely shout out like. Your wife. Yeah, um, so I, so he I'm, did. Listen, listen, let me say this, right? The, mm -hmm. I, the other shirt that's coming out, 
we have a mantra that's on the side of our hat. It says, I am handsome, I am a hustler, I am a king. And that's what black men have to start looking at ourselves as. All black three. boys, too. Yeah. And, yeah. and But see, that's our job. Because yeah. if we're not acting a certain way, they're not gonna they're not gonna act a certain way. Not like, no follow. matter what. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The 80s was the worst thing that ever happened to us. Mm-hmm. And then it went on to the 90s. We didn't have nobody there. Mm. Right? So now the other shirt is also coming out. You're gonna get one too. I swear to God, you all sis. You too. <laughs> he is handsome, he's the hustler, he's my king. Mm. Because if we're not seeing that within the black household, we're doomed. And we're not saying I love that they shirt. Just signed it. Like that. That's how they, you yeah. know, the politicians and everybody taking a man out right. of the household, and it's been right. that way. And um, it's like got us so used to as women saying, "Oh, we can do this alone. We don't need the man." Oh, I need you, honey. I yeah, need I mean, I, you. And, and, and look, and that's enough that the government designed it for yeah. everything more, but welfare and everything. Yeah. And it's not only that they to take well, the man out the yeah, household. They can't be in the household. Yeah, listen, I them. definitely want that shirt. Listen, and, listen yeah. I, I mean, look, it's I ain't, I ain't gonna beat the whole time, but we definitely have. It's your job. Um, a lot of a, a few different ideas coming to the table, and like I said, I don't want to be preachy, preachy, Afrocentric. I want you to be like, yo, it's fashionably cool to, to wear something that's going to give me an ideology about who I am. Right. And, and, and so when somebody see it, so you see a shirt like this, it may say read history, make history. You may think you got to think about it, and the other shirts are coming out where they can be backwards. Okay. Because it's not for somebody else, but you to look in the mirror and say, oh, oh yeah, that that's me. Okay. So somebody else, it's a conversation piece. Your shirt's on backwards. It's not, but you're reading it. You know what it, you know what it says? Yeah. This is what it says. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, as men, you know, I don't know if you have children or not. Absolutely. But I know yeah. me, you know, I have a stepson. You know, I have my two daughters. He's not my stepson. That's my son. So I got to yeah. groom all appropriately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My daughters appropriately. I teach them sign language. I teach them chess. I train. <laughs> I'm saying, but the thing is, I, I want better for myself, so I had to want better for them. And so, as, as back to my wife, Latasha, she has a, a, a her consulting firm called um, Mommy More Bucks. Mommy More Bucks. You know, and, you know, it, because y'all need this. It's a, mm-hmm. it's a the male dominated situation around us. So, the reason, but the thing, clothing I'm coming out with is kind of for men because women have everything. Listen, I'm going to talk to them for a second. Look, when you're born, hold on. He's saying, he's going to talk to him Listen, for a second. When you're okay. born, as babies, oh, he's cute. Mm-hmm. You only cute for a certain amount of time. Mm-hmm. Until about what age he stop being cute? 11? About 10, 12? 11, yeah. And then it's what? You handsome. Mm-hmm. But hold on. Women, oh my God, y'all have everything. Let me see something. Big we do? They are beautiful. Oh, well, she's yeah. gorgeous. She's so precious. She's a Adorable. flower. She's a queen. She's my shiny star. She's my little pony. Everything. So we need something. Okay. They got Victoria's <laughs> Secret. Okay. okay. They got this. They got third. Okay. So my thing is, okay, fellas, let, what are we gonna do? You know what I'm saying? We, we, okay, let's look good doing it too. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Let's, I like let's that. Good but I can appreciate. Um, I know you said you didn't necessarily want to come off as preachy, but right. I feel like in this day and age, in the climate, in the black community, I think it's become, which is a good thing. I think it's become almost fashionable to have a message and have a meaning behind anything you do. And I think a lot of people are gravitating toward that when you have so so many um, people that are out here on the side oh, yeah. of the oppressor. Oh. Oh. So well, that I'm, now I'm, it, it's, it's almost fashionable to to be preachy, so to speak. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, the f- funny thing is in the Bronx, um, big with the Bronx, but there's a store in the Bronx. I forgot the name of the store there because they had nobody. But, um, and I say that because only thing in their window is um, knock off from big name brands, but they change the name like Robbery. Instead of Burberry's Robbery. Mm-hmm. And they promote Lean and Xanax and Xannies and things like that. So I went in there with an with a idea, the clothing line, and, and one of the guys was with it. He was going to move with me. But the other guy comes and said, yo, you can't get shirts that say dope and lean on it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, my man, this is, not, this is not about that. And the, and the problem is, I'm going to show you something. He wasn't black or Hispanic. He was like, Arabian, something like that. Okay. Definitely from another country. And it just goes, so I said, okay, if I can't sit back there and constantly complain about what we don't have in the hood, we always complain about, oh, we go to the store and they don't respect us in the Chinese store with our nails or our hair or whatever. But you know people that have the opportunity to do something in our communities. Mm-hmm. Support it. Mm-hmm. So like the sister that we just on, I, forgot, I don't know her name, but sister, so there's a black sister that's dealing with credit. Go to her. Stop going to some some white HR individual <laughs> or you know, somebody Latasha. outside of our culture. <laughs> Latasha, yeah. shout out yes. her. Stop going to someone outside of your culture, mm-hmm. your race, 
to, to deal with this we have to or, or even or even gender. Yeah. That's okay. a whole other yeah. story. Yeah. I mean, uh, right, so I mean, <laughs> absolutely. And, that, and that's what Hanson University is because now we got Hanson University um, um, Credit Central, something like that. So she get a shirt because this is what she she believes in that. Yeah. And Hanson is not a gender. Yeah. It's just a masculine word, but it's not a gender. Absolutely. Okay. You know. That's what's up, man. I, I, I and it. like I Thank said, I, as as a man that um, consistently rocks. Um, local and um, clothing clothing lines from, from brothers and sisters that's out here doing things. I can definitely appreciate what you're doing and 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 um, what uh, what you're striving to do. So what do you see your brand in the next five years or so? Like what do you where where are you trying to take um Hanson University and everything you got going on? We looking uh, honestly uh you know just moving down here from from New York. How long you been out here? A year, we just passed. Oh, year. oh, you fresh down here? Okay, yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying so, you know, we still looking for some kind of stability and um, get get certain things taken care of before I can move to the next plan. You know, um, no, we have a couple of stores we we've spoken to. Okay. And showed them, and you know, I think with me alone, just going through so much, I kind of fell back from really pushing hard because you just mentally trying to get through so many other factors, mm-hmm. studying and dealing with children, and dealing with a job and stuff like that, but um. First, I definitely want to just get the brand out there, cause I, I don't. I'm not really calling it a clothing line. It's more of a brand. It's, mm-hmm. it's a Absolutely. lifestyle brand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's a lifestyle brand. You know, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not a designer. Yeah. I can look. I, I can look good though. <laughs> the That's first it. step is you, you're here, so yeah. you're yeah. definitely getting the brand yeah. out. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to reach out to like investors, people, people that if people that have clothing stores that have these resources that have been looking for something different yeah. in our areas to say, okay, you know what. We can use this to combat all the negative messages that's put out there with our kids. And that's one thing that I like about your brand because I'm I'm am I'm a believer in visual and I'm a believer in what you speak, you are, you become. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um you think it, you ink it. So to, to be able to wear it and and it's just a a testimony to everything you want and to become. So you getting to see it and putting the right thing on. I'm all about the brand. I want you to touch a little bit. Guys, he will be my trainer. He will help this body get snatched back into place. Um. So um, <laughs> you guys will be able to kind of watch the journey, but not really watch the journey. Again, the journey will be more so on YouTube. You guys have <laughs> to subscribe yeah, here you go. to you my YouTube. Hit that subscribe link. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, hit that. It's on my Instagram page. I wanted to touch on that. I wanted to shout out Mommy More Bucks. I've known her for a short amount of time and everyone is hitting me up like um, do you know anyone? Do you know a consultant? She has been absolutely wonderful to the Busy Will Be family, to the Busy Will Be brand. Very um, very and, knowledgeable. And I'm, yes, yeah. very, very <laughs> knowledgeable. Yes. Kind heart. And it's, it's just just an amazing person to me. So the fact that he gets to be married to her and share her with me almost every night of the week is just amazing. So I wanted to make sure I plug that. And um, yeah, you will see her soon. That's what's up. I mean, the I show's winding down, so I, I I had to get all of that in. I know. I think I had the privilege of speaking to her for what five minutes with you yeah, on the phone. Yeah. Awesome woman. Awesome. Well, awesome. Bef- before we go, make sure yeah. you plug all your, oh, your man, social media, go. your mm-hmm. emails, wherever people can find you and your um, <sighs> your brand. Let's go. Um, handsome H A N D S U M Handsome University. Uh, Instagram Handsome Hustler H A N D S U M H U S S L E R. Instagram um and Facebook. Uh, Hanson University at Gmail, Hanson's Closet. Um, like I said, that's the brainchild. So, like in in the future, when I'm starting to put these commercials together, it's gonna be like, what's in your closet? Just like that, you know, what's in your wallet? Could be, could be looking at just different Absolutely. situations to attack it. A little bit more urban or street or business, just casual things like that. So, um, you could definitely hit me. The, um, you know, I've done email. a couple commercials in my okay. past. I just, like that. I just like to put it out there. Yeah. Oh no, oh, okay. okay. This is <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm but, even like acting in commercials and stuff like that okay. before. So, oh, and I can see it though. Ruggedly handsome, I can see it. Yeah, I, I can see ruggedly handsome. I, I gotta get a shape up. But, but you, yeah, no, yeah. you know what I mean? Ruggedly <laughs> handsome. Yeah, ruggedly want, handsome. Did you want to ask, say something? No, I wanted. I wanted to say before we close the show, this has been very inspiring. Thank we you. are busy with B show is pushing entrepreneurship, 
we're we're such an advocate for entrepreneurs. Your story is amazing. Your mm-hmm. brand. I can't wait to get that shirt from you so I can rock it about my king that I'm speaking into existence. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna walk around with show. it, right? She thinks she does, we Miss Miss Cupid over here. Yes, yes, yes. But no, I love it. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Tomorrow so we'll be doing the photo thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, so I didn't even tell you. Oh, man. Talk about that. This will go straight to um, my YouTube channel. So you guys Mm -hmm. need to subscribe. Tonight. um, Hit the link. Yeah, hit the link tonight. But um, I will be filming with um, the furlough cheesecake sisters. Um, I don't know if you guys heard about them. They've been on Ellen. They they, they are traveling. They're super duper busy. So I'll be on site with them tomorrow in the kitchen. I guess I'm going to like some cheesecake, me and Bella. Um, But I'm just so excited. On where yes. the show is going, if you guys are looking to promote your business, be a part of my website mm-hmm. dropping. You guys DM me. The website is fire. I'm not just saying that, but it is. I'm just so excited. So I see busy you guys. With me. Yes, busy with me. I see you guys next Monday, unless Bella come. Um, then you'll be with Boots and Ursula. They will take and hold down the show. And we got back. you. I yes, will Skype in. I will see you guys from time to time. You know, and, you know, and I'm just, I'm just excited about 2019. Stand so. up and let them see Baby Bella. Look huh? at that. Oh, big out. <laughs> oh my goodness. One, one centimeter. Oh my, yeah, I'm already starting to dilate, so we don't know. Don't be in here breaking no oh, water now. Out. Do not be in here breaking no water and all that stuff, because I'm going to pass out. How we're how right that. down the street. Hanson, yeah. Uni- I'm, Hanson University, what? Take it back, get up. Hey, y'all. See y'all. Thank you. Take it back, get up.